after a weekend of college basketball, in the wake of the FBI investigations alleging all sorts of corruption and illegal payments in the sport, it certainly felt like business as usual. Aside from Sean Miller of Arizona not coaching, everything kind of just went as it normally does. Jalen, how do you think student athletes and the NCAA should change the way they're finishing the season in the wake of all these allegations? Here's what I appreciated about the allegations most. The NCAA realized that they were some of the top programs in the country, and before you know it, players got cleared. Like, you guys ain't gonna mess with our bottom line, you're not gonna affect the PR that goes into the NCAA tournament, y'all will not mess with our money. Mm. If we have to go back and vacate some wins later, then we'll worry about it then. But right now, you guys ain't getting in our pockets. Hindsight is always 2020, and there was a time when I was in college John Thompson, a leader of men who just so happened to be a terrific basketball coach, yep. was boycotting, in theory, the inequality that he felt took place from the Prop 48 system. So much so, at the beginning of basketball games, before the tip, he would walk off as hmm. his frame of reference to boycott. Okay. We caught wind of that at the University of Michigan. I felt like it was a noble thing. Had that protest continued, you never know. Maybe we would have participated in it. As I look at that as a backdrop, I wish NCAA players understood the power that they now have. In a climate of so many things that are changing, so many discussions that have now come to the forefront that have been closeted for so very long, for so a multitude of reasons, I wish NCAA players would exercise that power by boycotting the NCAA tournament. So you are Imagine suggesting this. they boycott the tournament. Imagine this. No different from what I said with the NFL players when they were doing their protests at the beginning of the year. Imagine if they would have showed up on a Sunday and decided not to play. The exact same thing with the NCAA tournament. How many people pay attention to collegiate basketball in March? Millions. How many people in office pools, and casual basketball fans or people that have never watched basketball at all are filling out NCAA brackets? Tons. Why are they filling out those brackets? Because it's fun. It's because everyone, it's kind of like a cultural phenomenon that everyone picks up and is interested in college basketball for a few weeks. Fun? Interested? They doing it to bet. They doing it for the money, the moolah, the dinero. That's why they doing it. So as a player, you now have equity. If they decided and band together and say, we not performing tonight. We want to make a statement. Do you think reform will start happening real fast? I do. Well, here's what I say is, when, one of my advice to younger people is whenever they go into a meeting, whenever they go into a serious conversation, decide what you want out of it before you go into it. So you're suggesting that these players should boycott, but what should they ask for when they are, if this protest happens, which it probably will not, what should they ask for? What change should they demand? Not change, dollars. Ooh, good That's work. what they should demand. Because gone are the days where people can say, shut up, you should be happy that you have a scholarship. I will give anything to be in those shoes. I have student loans and my parents still have to pay for me in my education. But people aren't paying to watch you play basketball or football. No. People aren't buying your jersey. We live in a, a free market society. And if you go on a collegiate campus, it's a melting pot of not only young educated individuals, but of young entrepreneurs who hopefully are our future and is gonna drive us into the next generation because they make quality decisions. They also could be entrepreneurs. And just because you play basketball or football, I've talked about this maybe for 30 years. It clearly has a racial overtone. Only in basketball and in football are there post-secondary rules after high school? Are there salary caps in those two sports? Do they punish for marijuana? I could go on and on the difference in those sports versus hockey, baseball, golf, tennis. So it is clear. It is right out there on the table. So if the players can execute and exercise that power right now, Oh, man, it'd be paramount for change. 
So I do not think that this boycott will happen, Jalen. I think in your heart, you don't really think it will happen either. What change do you think will actually happen? Will it just be business as usual now through the Final Four in April? I learned this a long time ago. You keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna keep getting what you're getting. And so at some point, change will take place. I'm calling for the young men and women right now who have the opportunity and the power to be the beacon of change to do so. Well, that's noble. We'll see what happens.